I'm Danielle Hale, Chief Economist for Realtor.com, and here's what you need to know. As we move past the dog days of summer, the economy continues to offer mixed signals. Retail sales are flat for the month, but up big from a year ago, beating out inflation, which slowed as George noted in last week's video. Interestingly, the biggest sales gains in July were at non-store retailers, think online shopping, and building material, garden equipment, and supplies dealers. Jobless claims also ticked lower, highlighting ongoing consumer and job market strength. The minutes of the Fed's July meeting were released, but recent inflation data has had a bigger impact on the rate outlook. For now, markets still expect a Fed rate hike of at least half a percentage point in September. Nevertheless, mortgage rates declined this week, continuing the recent seesaw around 5%. The volatility is one more frustrating challenge for home shoppers. The best way to prepare is to use a mortgage calculator, like you'll find on Realtor.com, to see what these ups and downs in the mortgage rate mean for monthly costs in your target home price range what I like to call rate-proofing your budget. As buyers grow choosier, navigating higher costs, builder confidence slipped. The housing market index dropped below 50, signaling market contraction or a home building recession. July construction data reinforced this message as builders pulled back on both single family and multifamily starts, marking a fifth monthly decline in single family activity. Building permit activity was mixed with multifamily gains not completely offsetting single family declines. Looking ahead, the permit pickup is likely to spell eventual relief for renters. But for now, builders are sitting on a near record high pipeline of under construction properties. So it'll be some time before these shifts are felt in the supply of homes for rent and for sale. Existing home sales data also reflected a pullback in buyer activity, with home sales slipping below 5 million for the first time since 2020. Market balance is shifting, but has only slowed, not stopped, home price growth, which continued to advance at double digit pace. In Realtor.com weekly data, we saw similar trends. More homes on the market for sale cooled the pace of price growth. The housing market isn't unfriendly to sellers right now, but last year's compressed home sale timelines are lengthening, and competition from other sellers is growing, even as the number of newly listed homes shrank from last year. And while nationwide the housing market is cooling, some local markets are still quite active. Our 2022 hottest zip codes report shows that zips in the Northeast, and particularly in historic New England, remain competitive with homes selling quickly and attracting shoppers, more shoppers than in other parts of the country. You'll find the details, a video deep dive on our hottest zips, along with our housing data for download at realtor.com research. And follow us on Twitter for real-time updates.